for a very, very long time, the skill of railway operations wasn't recognised in the same way as, say, uh, HR professionals were. So the institution was formed in 2000 to try and address that issue. Its mission is to establish a lead in operating excellence uh, throughout the industry. We're keen to expand the IRO um, to be as wide across the industry as we can make it, making sure that as many people as possible are aware of the existence of the IRO, the benefits that it can bring to them, to encourage more people to join. People coming into the industry only see one side of the story and uh, what the institution can offer is all the sides of the story. Well, it's great to give members of staff uh, an opportunity to develop themselves professionally once they're inside their job. One of the key features of the RO for me is that it gives us the opportunity for people to see outside their immediate job role, to understand how the rest of the industry works and to bring that wider knowledge to their daily jobs. And so we offer the, the mix of, of a, a proper educational program and networking opportunities. But we also are now developing a program of courses aimed at uh, people that say work on platforms or signal boxes or a train crew etc. So we want to actually get to all people and offer an opportunity for them to develop their careers in the industry. The Area Council is, is there to ensure that the members get the maximum they can out of their membership. We're there to support and provide guidance. We really are there to provide a network of events, a dedicated programme to support the education programme and these events usually take the form of, of visits or guest speakers and sometimes just simply the opportunity to network and share best practice. So we've got quite a few members who do want to pursue their career and further their career so we help them identify any professional or other development needs they may have and then point them in the right direction and that can be through one of the IRO courses or it can be part of the mentoring programme that the IRO operate or simply what the continuing professional development programme.